Today, we will recap an action drama movie called Columbiana. Columbiana tells the story of Catalea, a young girl who saw her family murdered before her eyes, turned her normal life upside down, and demanded retribution by training to be a ruthless assassin. So, make sure you watch this video till the end for a better experience. At the beginning of the movie we are shown the front yard of a house, where there is a serious conversation between two important figures of the Colombian gangster world, namely John Lewis and Don Fabio. The conversation takes place in a friendly and polite manner, although it is inversely proportional to the reality, where the relationship between these two people is actually not in good condition. As soon as Fabio left the Luwa residence, Lewis immediately ordered his men named Marco to finish Fabio as soon as possible. On the other hand, Fabio who had expected this to happen immediately met his wife's children at home, in a matter of minutes Fabio had to take them away from there to avoid worse possibilities. Fabio made a will to his daughter named Catalea, giving her a chip and a paper with an address, which later Catalea would feel safe in that place. Soon Marco was in front of Fabio's house. Fabio wanted to take his family away but their space was surrounded, and Fabio was forced to survive with the circumstances, then asked his daughter and wife to leave the house through the back door. However, Marco and his men immediately shot at them, while Catalea just sat and saw her parents die before her eyes. Marco then approached Catalea and tried to persuade her to be willing to give the chip given by Fabio. But suddenly Catalea resisted, even calmly doing that, then away trying to escape. Unexpectedly it made Marco and his men troubled, but in the end Catalea managed to hide and escape by passing through the underground water drain. After a long and risky escape, Catalea finally arrived in front of the Colombian police headquarters and then handed over the chip given by her father to the police without knowing the contents of the chip. Catalea only hoped that by handing over the chip she could get a passport to continue her journey to Chicago in the United States. Long story short Catalea arrives at a seedy alley where the gangsters of the city of Chicago there with only a piece of paper containing a message, Catalea meets one of the gangsters, after which Catalea is taken into a room where a man is beating someone because his daily deposit is not fulfilled. The man is named Emilio, who is the leader of the most famous gangster in Chicago. Emilio is also the brother of Fabio, which means Catalea's uncle. Emilio himself happily welcomes Catalea's presence there until Catalea reveals that she wants to become an assassin. I want to be a killer. However, given Catalea's young age, Emilio decides to make Catalea continue her studies. Although Catalea initially refuses, but suddenly. Emilio firmly said that intelligence is important, even to become an assassin. After hearing Emilio's advice, Catalea was finally willing to continue her education. Fifteen years passed, two California police officers were seen eating burgers in their car, but suddenly they were hit by a car driven by a sexy woman who was drunk, and this drunk woman turned out to be a grown-up Catalea. Because of this, Catalea was finally arrested and detained to take responsibility for her actions. At the same time, a dangerous criminal had just arrived at the police station to become a temporary detainee, before being transferred to the prison where other dangerous inmates were. Then at some point, Catalea began to transform herself into Wonder Woman, so cleverly breaking into the cell door, then sneaking into the electrical room with the aim of being able to pass through the propeller of the engine room fan. In an instant, Catalea was already in the room where the dangerous criminal was being held, and soon the big man died at the hands of Catalea. The extreme action that had just been carried out immediately aroused the suspicion of the police, so they laid siege to the perpetrator, although in the end they were made dizzy because when examined in the Catalea room, Catalea herself was still asleep like a drunk. In order to investigate the case, the next day an intelligence agent named Rosied was brought in. After seeing the drawing marks on the criminal's corpse, Rosied assumed that this case was related to several other murder cases whose perpetrators were still mysterious. Along with Agent Rosied's investigation at the police station, Catalea was acquitted, and Catalea walked out among the crowd, without Rosied realizing that Catalea was the perpetrator he had been looking for. There have been 22 cases of murder with the same modus operandi, and Rosied concludes that the perpetrator is deliberately presenting himself as a marked killer, to give a message to a group of people who will his main targets. While elsewhere, a CIA agent named Richard, comes to the residence of Lewis and his gang, 
which they have now moved to one of the places in America. Showing a newspaper report, Richard asks Lewis to help him find the marked killer, while Lewis charges Marco because he is the cause of this mess. On the other hand, Agent Rosied continues to dig up information about the marked killer's criminal trail, whose victims are all wanted criminals by the police. Until he gets a picture that at the time of the murder in the cell, the perpetrator was certainly there, one of thousands of inmates. Long story short night falls, a young man walks into his apartment room, unaware that Catalea is already there waiting for him. This young man is named Danny, a painter who has a special relationship with Catalea. When the next day comes, Catalea rushes off to meet her uncle at a laundry kiosk, where at that time Emilio shows her a photo of a kingpin who will be the target of his next execution. During the conversation, there was an argument between them, because Emilio reprimanded the way Catalia left marks on each of her victims, which Emilio considered would only threaten the safety of himself and his family. But Catalea did not pay the slightest attention to it, instead asking Emilio to continue to support her until the revenge on Louis was completely avenged right. After picking up a few necessities including money and passwords, Catalea headed to Mexico, as she was informed that her next target was in a Mexican establishment. Upon arrival, Catalea noticed the heavy security, but she cleverly entered the building by sneaking and swimming through the shark aquarium. It didn't take long for Catalea to get to the kingpin's room, where it was seen that the kingpin and his men were sleeping from exhaustion after partying. Then a few moments later the kingpin woke up and saw graffiti on his stomach, he also saw that his men were dead. Quickly the kingpin took a gun to look for the perpetrator, but when he walked over the shark aquarium, suddenly Catalea who appeared from behind immediately finished him. After carrying out the mission, Catalea returned to Danny in his apartment room, where this time Danny was quite curious about who the real Catalea was. So at the meeting that night Danny began to ask many things, although Catalea answered, but she still kept her personal identity secret. The next day Catalea woke up late, even though Catalea was waiting for her uncle at a library. When met, Emilio seemed very angry, but not because Catalea was late in coming, but related to the action in Mexico which was considered too brutal, where one of Emilio's undercover friends became a victim of Catalea. But as usual, Catalea remained stubborn and refused to listen to Emilio's words. At the same time, Danny tells Ryan, his close friend, about his mysterious girlfriend who only comes when she wants to have sex. Fortunately, Danny had taken a photo of Catalea during the meeting last night, then showed it to Ryan. With the intention of helping Danny find out who the real Catalea is, Ryan secretly sends the photo to his brother-in-law who works as a staff at the police station. However, Ryan's good intentions actually become disastrous for Catalea, because with the information obtained from the photo, Agent Rosied can easily find out who her target is, as well as track her current whereabouts. Until one day, when Catalea called Danny to just let go of her longing, she was suddenly surprised when Danny admitted that he had taken a photo of her, so Catalea realized that their conversation at that time had been intercepted, and even saw several anti-terror police had arrived in front of Catalea's apartment. Knowing she was surrounded, Catalea, who is a smart assassin, immediately turned on the faucet in the bathroom to distract herself, before running down the stairs to a room where Catalea hid her sniper weapon. When Rosied ordered to blow up the door to the room, at the same time, Catalea blew up another wall to escape, which was genius. As a result, Rosied found nothing there except a burnt birdcage and a painting of flowers. Long story short the next day arrived, with great difficulty, Catalea finally made it to her uncle's house. However, it seemed too late, because everyone in the house had been killed horribly. Devastated, Catalea was sure that Marco had come looking for her and they made Emilio's family a target of rage. That evening, Catalea went to Agent Rosied's house, urging him to tell her the location of John Lewis, otherwise it was possible that Rosied's family would also be in danger of being targeted by an angry Catalea. Because he did not want his family to be threatened, the next day Agent Rosied met Richard to ask about the famous Colombian gangsters who were now in America. But because Richard was the one who facilitated them to be able to live in America, Richard obviously did not tell Rosied about their whereabouts, instead sneering at Rosied's words who claimed to be under threat and seemed not to believe him. However, suddenly a sniper shot managed to hit Richard's photo where it made Richard silent and frightened. After that Richard told Catalea the information she needed, even sophisticated weaponry was provided. Catalea prepared to go for revenge while carrying her two favorite dogs. Catalea rushed to the lion cage, while the lions were secretly strategizing to immediately pounce on her. 
But then something happened. A rocket ripped through their cage, leaving John Lewis as the leader on the ground. Panic ensued among them. Some decided to flee the scene, but their car was dented, and they couldn't do anything when Catalea shot at them. Catalea's brutality at that time was no joke. As a result, Lewis had to be temporarily secured, before Marco could make sure that Catalea was completely subdued. However, in reality it was Catalea who was more free to attack the lions in the cage. When they were both exhausted, Marco had the opportunity to grab his gun, but Catalea quickly disarmed him and then quickly stuck a toothbrush into Marco's neck. Back to Lewis, who finally had the courage to escape from there, although his journey was stopped by a garbage truck. Lewis had received a phone call from someone who was none other than Catalea, still arrogantly Lewis said that people like him were not born to be killed, and Catalea was the one who deserved to be killed. But without Lewis realizing, if in the back seat of the car there were already two Catalea dogs ready to record him, and a few moments later Lewis immediately moved to nature. At the end of the film, Catalea with his intelligence was able to get off scot-free and Agent Rosied was unable to do anything, and that's how the film ended. The lesson of this movie is, don't be a stubborn and selfish person, listen to advice once in a while, because by taking care of your selfishness and stubbornness can make your life more peaceful. Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow.